Hello everyone, my name is Elvis and this is Grey Money Matters. Today we continue our series of working capital management with this episode's topic of managing accounts payable. In this episode I will go through different options and strategies to manage accounts payable so you can apply this to your business. With that being said, let's get started. To manage accounts payable, you need to consider certain processes and actions to ensure you don't put your business in jeopardy. So let's begin with the following eight key points that you need to consider in managing accounts payable. 1. Make payments only when due. Note the payment terms and due dates and only make payment when they are due. 2. Prioritizing suppliers. Some suppliers are more critical to the ongoing operation of an organization and so it is important that good trading relations are established and maintained. 3. Checking invoices before paying. Sometimes invoices are received for goods and services that have not been provided. It also might be inappropriate to make payment for a good or service where there has been an issue. Checks should also be performed to ensure that the price being charged is in accordance with the purchasing agreement. 4. Negotiating with suppliers for extended credit terms. It may be possible to negotiate a longer than standard time to pay an account, particularly when a supplier is keen to get or retain you as a customer. 5. Consider the benefit of accepting early payment discounts. Organizations should consider the savings offered by taking the discount compared to the cost of interest foregone on cash balances. Just as an example, a discount of 1% for paying 7 days early is equivalent to an effective annual interest rate of 52%. 6. Ongoing discussions with the creditors. If the supplier is made aware of any difficulty in paying according to terms, it may be more amendable to an extension of credit. Most businesses have to sometimes swallow their pride and just basically make a simple phone call you will be surprised in how accommodating some suppliers can be. 7. Alternative supply arrangements. The use of consignment inventory where the supplier is not paid for the products until they are sold or used, thereby delaying the payment. This may be an alternative method for purchasing inventory, but this is dependent on the ability of the supplier to support such an arrangement. 8. Reporting. Ensure that appropriate systems, processes, and reports are in place to monitor payables, terms, and available discounts. And that's it. That's the end of this video. Thank you for sticking around to the end, and make sure you continue by viewing the other videos in this series on managing inventory, or if you haven't already seen, managing accounts receivable. Thank you, and until next time.